Hello everyone, Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Hope everyone is doing well. And today I'm going to be speaking to you guys about a topic that is increasingly important in enterprise IT as well as even in your home network, cybersecurity. Attackers are looking to steal credentials, compromise networks, exfiltrate sensitive data, and increasingly lately, they are targeting the hypervisor level in enterprise IT, specifically VMware vSphere, among others. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps to secure your VMware vSphere environment with two-factor authentication easily. Two-factor authentication extremely important and very effective to help secure your environment. The most common way today is two-factor. Either you get a text message with a one-time code or you have an authenticator app on your mobile device. VMware vSphere 7 introduced the idea of identity federation. So now we can take uh, identity providers such as Active Directory Federation Services and allow vCenter to pass that authentication request to ADFS, which can be enabled with two-factor. Uh, I wanna show you a much easier way, at least right now, uh, that we have when we think about the capabilities of vSphere 7, as well as older versions of VMware vSphere to implement two-factor authentication. The two-factor solution known as Duo. Now I've used Duo for a number of years and this is not a sponsored post or video for Duo. Uh, they have a great solution and I've used it on a number of services in the home lab as well as uh, in the enterprise and it has served those well. It's actually pretty simple to do and I'm going to set through that right now. So as you guys see, I have Duo Security pulled up as a website. It's duo.com and Duo allows you to have a free account. And this is what I have used in the home lab for quite some time. Uh, with a free account, there are some limitations such as you can't whitelist networks, as well as a few other uh, things that you get with the enterprise uh, package. But for what we're gonna do in the home lab in this video tutorial, uh, the free account works just fine. So I'm gonna sw switch to the tab that I have uh, for, uh, that I'm logged into in Duo Security. I already have a, an application up, but I'm going to start back with applications. And I'm gonna show you guys how you go about creating a new application that can be used to implement two-factor authentication with vCenter Server. Applications, we go to protect an application. And we have a list of sorts that we can sort through. We're going to search for VMware. And currently the only application that is natively supported is VMware View or Horizon View. It's a virtual desktop infrastructure solution from VMware. Um, however, in my testing in the home lab, this application that's pre-built can be used effectively to implement two-factor uh, authentication for vCenter server. So I'm gonna click VMware view, I'm gonna say protect. And once you have your application created uh, with Duo, you will see an integration key, a secret key, and then also an API hosting. All three pieces of those information, you wanna copy down just to a notepad document or somewhere else safe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy those, I'm gonna save those off to notepad and select the secret key that's only viewable once you click it. I'm going to paste it into my document and then I'm also going to select the API hosting. So I have those pieces of information. Now I'm ready to move forward with creating the configuration needed on what's called a dual proxy. Let's see how that works. So now what we need to do is deploy a dual proxy appliance. Duo Proxy Appliance is uh, easy to install. Uh, what I did in the home lab is I just simply spun up an Ubuntu virtual machine in the home lab network and then I downloaded the Duo Proxy which was just a tarball file and installed uh, that application uh, in that Ubuntu virtual machine. 
Now what you see on the screen is one of the configuration files, or actually the only configuration file that you need to uh, configure for your Duo uh, application to perform two-factor authentication for vCenter server. And I'm gonna just briefly go over this configuration. There is an AD client um, stanza that defines your domain controller as well as a service account, service account password, and then also the uh, search value for where you want to target to actually look at users to authenticate to your uh, vCenter server appliance. Now, right now, I have this simply at the top level of the domain, but in production for sensitive vCenter server environments, you may want to scope this down to a particular organizational unit in your Active Directory infrastructure. Then we also need an LDAP server uh, auto stanza. And what this piece of configuration does in the Duo proxy configuration is this actually is what ties your instance of Duo that's loaded locally on premises with your Duo instance in the cloud. So remember the values that I mentioned you would want to copy. Those are found here. So under LDAP server auto, we have an AD client and then we also have an I key, an S key, and an API host name. So those three pieces of information that we copied from our application in Duo that we created, we're gonna paste those in here. So the final piece of the configuration that we want to implement to have two-factor authentication with vCenter server is actually configuring vCenter server to uh, point to our Duo application. So the way we do that is we navigate in our vCenter server. We're going to go from the menu uh, to administration and then under single sign on, we are going to click configuration. Now under configuration, we're going to look under the identity sources uh, for our configuration. Now here I have already added the LDAP configuration that I'm going to walk through, but you would simply just click add. I'm going to highlight the configuration that I already have and I'm going to click edit. So let's look at the configuration screen for the edit identity source. So we're going to look at this uh, and I'm under the edit configuration since I already have that configuration established. Uh, for the identity source, I'm simply uh, passing in the domain name for my home network. Then for the base distinguished name for users and for groups, you have to set the context of where this configuration is going to look for users, which I've done. I'm just simply pointing both of those to the top level domain. Then for username, uh, this will default to the user that you are logged in with currently, but you need this to be a user in your domain that has the ability to read from Active Directory. Now, I am going to use a domain administrator just for simplicity's sake for, the, for this walkthrough, but you'll want to create a, a special service account user for this case. So I'm going to do administrator at cloud.local. I want to type in the password for uh, that user. And then I'm going to check the radio button for specific domain controllers. This IP address is actually the IP address of the Duo proxy appliance not a domain controller, but vCenter will see it the same way since port 389 is open. So I'm passing in that IP address. I'm simply going to hit save and our vCenter server configuration should validate that we have that uh, configuration correct. So what we have is the domain. We've got it set up to, to point to our dual proxy which is going to proxy those authentication requests to Active Directory. So now let's log out as our administrator user. And now let's try to log into the domain context. So again, I was just now logged in as an SSO administrator uh, for vCenter server. So now I'm going to change this context to uh, the local domain. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to click login and now we have a successful two-factor push to my mobile device. So I'm going to click approve on that and in just a second 
whoops, I didn't hit approve fast enough. So now we have an approval and we are now successfully logged into vCenter. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial on how to successfully implement two-factor authentication for your vCenter server. And I will have the link to the detailed blog post in the video description, as well as a few other links that I think you will find uh, extremely beneficial. Please uh, click like on the video and please do subscribe to the channel. I think you'll like what you find here. See you guys soon. Thank you.